Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at my top 5 productivity apps for your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Now number 5 is NoteCube. This is a $1 app that came out really recently and it works really well with Evernote. And if you've ever used the note taking app on iOS, it's not very good in my opinion. This one is really simple to use, it's really easy, you really don't need to learn how to use it, you can just dive right in. And you can take pictures as well as regular text notes and you can search really easily and you can also take pictures directly inside of the app so it makes it really easy to remember all of the notes if you want to add a note really quickly the search functionality inside of this app is powered by Evernote and if you've ever used Evernote you know that it does have image searching which will allow you to actually search for text that is inside of an image so it's pretty cool the number four application that I recommend is called pages now this will be free with iOS 7 as of right now, it costs $10, I think, but the reason I recommend it is because it's going to be free very shortly. Now, this is probably the best word processor that the iPhone has. It's designed by Apple, and it syncs with Apple services. So if you create a document on your iPhone, it will sync to your iPad or your Mac computer if you have pages on your Mac. And it also syncs to iCloud.com now with the iWork beta, which should be out of beta very shortly. So you'll be able to edit your documents pretty much wherever you are. And when this application goes free, you should definitely pick it up. The third application is called MyScript Calculator. This calculator actually performs mathematical equations naturally using your handwriting. So as you can tell, I'm just using my handwriting here and it automatically recognizes it and it can solve all of the problems you have in here. The calculator is actually able to recognize different signs including plus, minus, times, divide, square root, pi, parentheses, and percentages. So it's pretty cool. It will allow you to do multiple things here and it's kind of simple I guess. It won't be able to solve huge algebraic equations if you were sitting in math class and you wanted this thing to just solve your answers without you having to do any work. It can't do anything like that but it can definitely do simple equations which is pretty awesome. The number two application that I recommend is called iStudies Pro and for three dollars this is a really powerful tool for anybody going through school. It allows you to input all of your schedule and information, your teachers, and you can even put in your grades here and keep track of all of your assignments in one really easy to use application. Once you enter all of your data here, all you have to do is really just check off the homework assignments that you finished and enter the grade that you got and you can see the grade for the semester and through the class you can see your GPA and you can do a lot of cool stuff. This is definitely the best education app that you can currently get for your iPhone. Number one productivity app for your iPhone, iPod Touch and iPad is 1Password. For $8 this is basically the one application that you can use that will keep track of all of your data all of your saved passwords, your credit cards, your website information, anything that you basically want to store that has a password, you can keep inside of this application. You can also store notes in here if you wanted to be really secure, and it does a great job of organizing everything. Because this application is on multiple platforms, it will actually allow you to sync all of your data together through the different apps. So if you have Windows or Mac or an iPhone or Android device, you can get all of this information on those devices as well. Anyways guys, that wraps up my top five apps for productivity. What are your top five? I'll also leave links down below the like button on this video for all of the apps that I mentioned in this video. So if you want an application, be sure to use the links down in the description below to get those applications. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one.